Hi, yeah, welcome back to uh, Queenie Pops. I am literally, see, wash my hair, I'm about to get ready to go out. Um, just a day shopping today, popping into town, getting a few bits. So nothing glamorous, but I just thought, you know what? I need to try and get these videos down to a smaller size. So let's do my makeup. And it doesn't normally take that long, so I'm gonna show you what I do. First thing I'm gonna do is I've cleansed and I've moisturized already. Um, and I'm just gonna put some concealer on. I'm using the, um, True Match Concealer by um, L'Oreal. I can't tell you what colour this is in because the label's faded. So I'm just going to take the foot and I'm just going to tap that all over my face. And use my fingers just to rub that in. Again, apologies for the light. I know I need to get a different setup, but that is coming. I don't know if you've seen it on my Facebook, which is Queenie Pops Loves. Um, I'm actually going to buy a green concealer today. Because even though you can't quite see it in this light, these areas are quite red, and I haven't actually managed to find a concealer that completely covers them. So, a little bit under the eyes, and around your nose. I prefer to use my fingers with a concealer because, you know, you're really wanting to rub that and blend that right in to the skin. Here comes trouble. Okay. Mommy? Yeah? Which pocket? I don't know. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to put on some foundation. I haven't decided what foundation yet, so you've lost my head. I think I'm going to wear... Well, let's keep it same, same. I'm going to use the True Match L'Oreal foundation. I haven't worn this for a while. Uh, my colour is... N5, Sable Sand. So I'm just going to pump a little bit on my hand. Like that. Mommy. Might need a bit more. Yes. Yay. Okay, hold on. I'm using my Real Techniques uh, exact face brush. And I'm just taking that all over the face. If you ever think you might have too much on your brush, just tap it all over the face and then blend from there. Okay. Doesn't really have much of a smell on this foundation. I can't wake up, I'm smelling my moisturiser or the foundation. I generally find you don't really want something. Oh, well, I don't really like anything that flowery. Okay. Just gonna tap that onto my problem area. The light is rubbish, isn't it? Sorry. Really doesn't really make it any better. Okay. As well, looking in my mirror, it's actually quite a nice warm brown colour, but not getting it. Okay, so then that's my base, happy with that. You don't generally then want to go to the eyes because you kind of want the um, foundations, even if it's a powder, you just want it to settle into the skin and relax before you start working with it again. So for the eyes, I don't know what I want. I think. I think I'll do what I did yesterday. So I'm going to go back to my, I've used this before, this is my Recess Lana Benefit Cream. And it is exactly the same colour as my skin. I'm going to just take that 
all over the eye. I don't have a um, eye primer and I find this actually works quite nicely to help whatever I'm then putting on just to cling, stay to the eyelid and doesn't crease as much. There still is some creasing but it's not so bad. Okay, so that's that on. And it actually won't look any different, which is kind of what I want. And then, I really should have thought this through before I uh, started this. I'm going to use my brown. Okay, so I've got New York City um, brown here. This is in um, 922. I'm going to take a little brush like this. I want kind of a natural look today. So it's kind of a slightly shimmery brown. Yeah, very light shimmery brown. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take that into the crease. And then blend that in. Okay, and then on the other side, same again, right into the crease. So there's some very slight definition, but it's not like a major colour. It's just, it's quite close to my skin tone. Okay. Yeah? Hold on. And then... This is just a... Um, it's actually Marks and Spencer's um, volume... Oh, no, I don't want that. I got it in a gift set. So it's two exactly the same. Um, so this is actually a liquid liner to... Do identical um yeah i got it a gift set at christmas um but i've actually heard quite a few good things about the marks and spencers um makeup so i might actually go and have a look okay so we're just going to sweep this over the eye I am feeling this video is quite pointless as you can't really see any definition of colour. No flick today. Just want to keep it like my lashes are quite thick. And then again with my L'Oreal Million Lashes Excess mascara. This will be in black. Curl as you go. Let's see if I can. There you go. Curl as you go. Really get that mascara right into your lashes. It's nearly a week that I've been using my lengthening serum. I haven't noticed any difference yet because it's only been a week. But I'm kind of like I wanted it to be. I cut one day and you know I could braid my eyelashes there so long. Okay, same on the other side. I wanted to do this in 10 minutes, but I think I talk too much. Okay, so as you know, I do like a lot of mascara, so I probably spend more time on this than anything else. I think the lashes kind of do define the look, so. I probably do spend a bit more time on them. Right, under and under. Now, call me crazy, but I do use blushes on my cheeks. No, I do use eyeshadows on my cheeks as well as blusher. Um, 
because sometimes the especially if you're contouring um the browns can be quite similar to the other colors and i've got one here then i might as well just use it what i'm going to use first i haven't used it yet is my wake me up instant radiance shimmer touch this is in zero four sands so a bit like the foundation which is a wake me up this is um like a highlighting cream but it actually has a color so if you see on my hand it's coming out it's brown more like skin color um but what i like about this is it's got glistening um gold in it so to go with my natural look i'm just going to place this on top of my cheekbone I wish you could see what I can see, but we'll try in a minute. It's giving me, whereas my Lumi Magique is white, so it's more like a shine. This is a really subtle, beautiful, um, radiant glow. Um, it's a bit tacky. It does seem to be sinking in. It matches with my foundation really, really well. Yeah, I like that. So that's the first time I've used that. And then, my towel's falling off. Uh, lastly, I'm actually going to use my blusher. Oh, why do I keep saying that? I'm going to be using my eyeshadow. This is um, a palette that I got for Christmas on Bartio Gianni. This is... Um, yeah, it doesn't really say anything, but it's got lips and eyes like this. I'm using this colour here. It's like a... I don't know what I'd call it. Like a dark silvery brown. And I'm just going to take that all over the cheek. So what we're doing... It's just adding a, another subtle highlight. Like this. And then, my old favourite, I'm going to get my new sleek, which you know by now. And I'm just going to... that on the apple gone on to 13 minutes okay I'm going to move as well and see if you can see this better and then lastly just because it's trying to keep it a bit nudie I've got my Dior um, Ultra Gloss in Flash which is three seven three two. That's this if you want to see that. So, oh, I've got pins and needles. This is, no, you still can't really see. Well, that's the look anyway. And um, this is what I'm wearing today. Um, oh, I really do have pins and needles. You can just see, you can see slightly now the colours on the eyes. Um, the highlight on the cheeks, a little bit of pink on the cheeks, that's a bit better, a little bit of pink on the cheeks and the colour. You notice I didn't sweep the colour all the way in um, and then a little bit of gloss on there too. And I realise I've done that too. Yeah, so this is my look for today. I'm trying to keep it as natural as possible, um, but you don't want to look completely washed out. I don't have pale skin, um, like very, very light skin. So my skin does need a bit of definition. So this is kind of my version of a natural makeup just for shopping with children um, on a Wednesday. So whatever you're doing today, have a really, really super day. I'm sorry yet again, it's been really long and the, you couldn't really see the colors, but I'm trying really hard. So um, I will go out and get a proper kit soon and um, 
if you want, if anyone else is watching these videos but me. Um, anyway, have a great day. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye.